This patient had blue baby syndrome. It was a terminal illness, but the arrival of Professor Blaylock and Thomas would change medical history. In the 1940s, there were no clinical heart surgeries or experiments in medicine. One day, Thomas was performing surgery and another doctor came to observe. The doctor watched his operation and asked about the clamp he had never seen before. Thomas told him that it was a tool he had modified and made himself. However, he was surprised to see that Thomas was operating with his eyes closed during surgery. This was actually the result of more than 10 years of practical experience. This experiment was very successful. It completely replicated the symptoms of blue baby syndrome. But what comes next is how to treat it. Blue baby syndrome is caused by insufficient blood supply, leading to purple skin and face. They wanted to increase blood flow to the lungs by using a bypass, so they connected a shunt from under the clavicle to another blood vessel. The professor and Dr. Helen discussed the surgical plan and immediately used a dog as the experimental subject. The surgery went very smoothly, so the professor communicated with the patient's family that the surgery was feasible. When he returned to the lab, Thomas was sitting on the floor holding a blood cover dog. It was clear that the clinical experiment had failed. The two of them discussed the reason for the failure. The shunt had burst was it due to the wrong blood vessel connection or an operational error? The next day, Thomas told him that the blood vessel burst was due to a stitching method error because the connected blood vessel would grow and then stretch until it ruptured. So the purse string suture method was not suitable. Therefore, part of the vessel should be stitched and part should not. At this time, the child's condition was worsening. So the next day, they resumed the experiment. This time, Thomas was the lead surgeon, attracting many doctors to observe. They applied the new stitching technique and the surgery was successful. Hello. Tell us actions. We'll be operating. That day would witness the world's first heart surgery. Just as the surgery was ready, the professor stood still and didn't begin. It seemed something was missing. Then he left the operating table and everyone looked at him in surprise. He went to the front desk to ask Thomas for assistance. When he walked in, the whole room became noisy. Because of his skin color entering, the operating room was impossible and forbidden at that time. With Thomas assisting, the professor finally began the surgery. They proceeded in an orderly manner. A nurse suddenly became nervous. She accidentally knocked line. over a nearby surgical light. It interrupted the professor progress. Thomas was about to warn him, but the wrong move caused bleeding. Fortunately, the professor immediately controlled it. The baby's blood pressure dropped to 68. It was the most critical step. The professor asked the nurse to hand over the vascular clamp that Thomas had made. It was to connect the shunt vessel. At that time, the blood pressure was 60 and still falling. Everyone was very nervous. They removed the clamp and took away the bulldog forceps. The earlier bleeding had stopped. They examined the new stitching technique. The professor used his hand to feel the blood flow, but the blood vessel might have been too small. He couldn't feel it. At that moment, Another doctor asked the professor to take a look. They saw the baby's facial color gradually returning to normal. Everyone showed joy. Ready the surgery was a success. The first successful heart surgery in human history. Everyone expressed admiration and congratulations to the professor.